Hey, it's Nick here. I got an interesting comment on one of my videos about 11 hours ago from a user who calls himself Joe Mama. He writes this, here's a real world flat earth proof. Exalt Wireless has a product called Explore Air, which is a line of sight microwave transmission platform. I'll put his full comment below the video, but he writes, this product is a line of sight microwave link, which is basically a straight line over water, the Mediterranean Sea to a receiver on the other end about 150 miles away. There should be three miles of curvature, but this line of sight connection is mounted at less than 50 feet on both ends. He writes, I spoke to them today to confirm this and didn't bring up the reason why. I told them I was just impressed with their accomplishment, wanted to learn more about the equipment and the installation. It is as advertised. A straight line over 235 kilometers of water, that's about 146 miles, point to point, no repeaters. So if you want to check it out, go to www.exaltcom.com. This is their website. And then I found the original article that the gentleman posted about. It says that they believe they did a record-breaking 235 kilometers over water. Now, why would they do it over water? Well, if you ask me, it's because water is always level. If you've watched any other videos on this channel, you know that uh, the reason why I believe the earth is not a globe is because water always seeks its own level. This is another article just to confirm. It's Explore Air LR 7 gigahertz microwave system achieved a connection with an access point that was located 235 kilometers, about 146 miles away. And what I found interesting is looking into microwave transmissions is I found an article talking about the science of how it works and they have a simple diagram that shows the transmission uh, the antenna that it runs through and then the receiving side uh, then the receiving end of the transmission but what I thought was interesting was this portion here between the links antennas lies another vital element of the microwave link the path taken by the signal through the earth's atmosphere a clear path is critical to microwave link success. Why? Since microwaves travel in essentially straight lines. Man-made obstacles, including possible future construction that might block the signal must either be overcome by tall antenna structures or avoided all together. Microwave transmissions travel in straight lines. Why is that important? Well, if you go to metabunk.org, they have a curvature calculator where we can put in some of the variables. First, the distance that they did this transmission was about 146 miles. According to the comment on the channel, the spokesperson for the company said that it was no greater than 50 feet in elevation. So let's assume that, the, that, that it maxed out at 50 feet. What it tells us here is that there should be a bulge between the first antenna and the receiver that's 3,500 feet high. And more importantly, from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna, there should be a drop of 2.7 miles. Miles. Now this website gives you a, a, a nice visual of what this would look like. So this would be the transmission tower that they, send up, that they set up on, on Cyprus. And they broadcast in straight lines. But according to a globe Earth theory, they would hit the horizon right about here. And the antenna on the receiving side would be 2.7 miles below the visible horizon. And the bulge here in the middle, if you remember, would be about 3,500 feet that would have to be overcome. So the transmission of a microwave signal on a globe is absolutely impossible. This is what I believe truly happened. We have a body of water which is level because water always seeks its own level. And then we have two islands. We have the island of Cyprus represented on the left and then Lebanon on the right. They set up two towers, which the spokesperson confirmed were no greater than 50 feet in height on the coastline of both shores, I should say. And then they transmitted a signal, a total distance of 100 
and 46 miles. That is only possible over a level body of water. I know it seems hard to believe, but just about everything we have been taught and we think we know is a lie. It's totally false. Jesus was talking to the Pharisees in John chapter 8, and he says this in verse 44, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And I hate to say it, but my friends who are out there, we live in a world of deception. I don't know 100% what the world looks like, but I think we see a better description in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4. The Father in heaven was giving Moses the Ten Commandments, and in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4, he says this, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. What does the universe look like? I think it looks like heaven above, earth beneath, and water under the earth. So how did we get in this position where just about everything we're told is a deception? Well, I think Romans 1, 21 tells us, 21 and 22, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools.